Hello and welcome to another video where I show you all my guitars. So let's start with the electric guitars and I thought I'll go through chronological order um, when I purchased them. So this is my oldest electric guitar I have had for the longest time. I think I bought this in 2008. Might be because this is a 2006 model. Might even bought it in 2007, although I'm not sure. Um, it's a Schecter C7 Hellraiser. It's the old model. It has quite the heavy neck. It has EMG 707s. And well, it obviously got a uh, repainting. I got this nice swirl finish on it and the neck is stripped. It's the raw mahogany, although it's oiled. And this guitar was seen in the Beware the Necromancer music video from my band Nightbearer. And these days I use this as a practice guitar and as a songwriting guitar. Here we have my custom Mayones Cetius 7 baritone. It's a 27 inch scale stainless steel frets. It has Dimasio deactivator pickups. And I bought this, this is actually my first custom guitar bought it in 2013 or so. Uh, has a nice blue finish. I used this live for a couple of years and then I kind of retired it and used it purely for studio purposes. I think I've recorded the second Nightbearer record with this guitar, although I'm not totally sure. Um, yeah, and uh, this is a very because of the a mahogany body and the mahogany neck. It's a very warm sounding guitar. I use it these days. I've kind of reactivated it. I used it for the last couple of Burden of Grief shows and the last Nightbira show. And well, I think I'll use it more often in the future for live occasions. Maybe use it in the studio as well. But, but for now, it's a uh, gigging guitar. It's my, for the last uh, three shows, my main live guitar. This is my Black Cat Custom uh, SC7. It has a baritone scale, 27 inch, stainless steel frets, has bare knuckle cold sweet pickups, and it has a mahogany body and a metal neck. And this guitar is really, really heavy. It's one of the earliest Black Cat models. And I used it in the studio for a re really long time. I recorded the first Nightbearer record with this guitar and these days it's my secondary practice guitar and my secondary songwriting guitar but I might use it in the studio as well but now it's set up for practicing, rehearsing and whatsoever. This is my Ibanez Universe Multicolor Swirl. I got it in a stupid trade for a Kiesel guitar and this is uh, has way more worth than the Kiesel will ever have, so I don't complain. It's a stock, which is meaning uh, no modification, it has the Dimasio Blaze pickups in it. I've blocked the tram and I used it on one live show and, well, actually I'm kind of scared that it gets damaged. I mean, it's fairly beaten up, it has some uh, paint chips here and there are even some uh, drill holes because it was once equipped with the uh, uh, MIDI pickup and well I don't want to uh, have it more damaged so I retired it I just grab it well a couple uh, every month or so and play a bit with it but so far it's just here to look good. Another Ibanez it's an RG7420 it's an old one made in Japan and um, this was originally all black. I got it custom painted and again another awesome swirl 
finish, I changed the pickups to, I think this is a PAF7 DiMarzio and this is a Blaze. Not sure, uh, sounds good. <laughs> and um, apart from that, it's stock. And I use this these days. I did some videos with it. And I want to use it as a secondary live guitar or maybe even a main live guitar for Burden of Grief. Uh, but so far it hasn't seen any stage yet. But I plan to use it live. Another Black Cat, it's a DC7 multiscale, 25.5 uh, to 27. Stainless steel frets, bare knuckle aftermath, I think. And it has a fancy wiring that le basically lets me uh, call split and run the uh, calls in parallel or in serial. This one was my main live guitar for all of Despised and the early Nightmare shows. But um, these days it's my main studio guitar and I will, won't use it live at least for the next couple of years. <laughs> well, the next year, the next month, um, because, well, I really like the finish. It's this green white burst, but I don't think it's this fitting for the style of music that I do. And therefore it's here for the studio. And my third Black Hat guitar, it's a DC7 multiscale as well. Um, it has different bodywood. The white one had, uh, or no, I think the white one had ash as well, but with a maple top. This one doesn't have a maple top. Has some different bare pickups, but to be honest, I don't know which ones. I think maybe those are painkillers and the other ones were aftermath. And this was designed to be a live guitar. It has some glow-in-the-dark uh, inlays and, well, it's uh, it was my main live guitar for Burden of Grief and Nightbearer. And now it's my secondary live guitar for both bands. And well, I think I'll change it with the Mayones whenever I want to. And this is the my newest seven string guitar. It's a Harley Benton. Uh, it was dirt cheap, was 130 euros or so. Uh, bought it used. It's stock and I bought this, it's a multi-scale of course. And I bought this to basically teach myself how to mod a guitar. And I don't want it to mod a 500 euros guitar, so it had to be a cheap one. And I just didn't want to mod a guitar and then don't use it. And this one I might use if it turned out good, so I bought it. Uh, so far, I haven't played much with this thing here. So far I've only shown you 7-string guitars, but I of course do own some 6-string guitars. And this is one of them, it's a Fender Stratocaster from 2001, I think. It's uh, stock, except for I've installed a Push Push Poti that basically lets me have um, all three pickups engaged or just the neck and the bridge pickup engaged. So it gives me two more options. And I've installed the Poti so that I can blend in the middle pickup in series to give me basically a fatter sound, kind of humbuckerish, but not really. I use this guitar when I want to have some fun. It's no particular purpose, just looking good and making fun. And my second six string electric guitar, it's a PV Vandenberg. It's uh, the made in Japan or made in Korea one, not made in the US. It's stock and I originally wanted to use this with Burden of Grief because Burden of Grief play a six string in standard C, but I found out that I highly prefer the seven strings. So I made a workaround and used seven strings with Burden as well. So this one doesn't get any playtime at all recently. I actually want to sell it, so if, if you want it, you can buy it from me. I, uh, I really like the form and the color, just don't use it. And um, uh, there's one 
bummer here. I brought it to Guitar Store to basically uh, that they can set it up for use with Burden and they really did their job. Uh, not because they hammered the threads into the wood and now I have all those hammer marks and uh, we have lots of dead spots here in this area um, that you don't need because who needs the A string 22nd thread or 20th thread but it's it's annoying and so either I sell it which I would prefer or I will keep it so long until I have the skills to replace the frets myself because I don't trust any guitar store anymore. So I have two more electric instruments and those are two basses. This is my Ibanez and I have to uh, look it up. SDGR. SRX595 TGF something. Um, I have this bass for quite some time. I played a couple of shows with it and um, I even recorded everything with it, uh, meaning the Nightbira EP, the Nightbira first record. And uh, these days it's my songwriting bass and my practice bass. So when I practice uh, parts to record or when I write bass lines, I use this bass. This is my second bass, my Sandberg California bass. It's a five string, of course, and I bought it to have a studio bass and I used this for the studio. I recorded the second Nightbira LP with it. It has a really rocky sound. I really like it, really stepped up my bass game. And uh, it's stock, but I did one modification. I stripped the neck of the wood and oiled and waxed it. And it looks awesome. This leaves us with three more guitars. I have three acoustic guitars and this one is my classical guitar. I have it for 25 years almost. Uh, I didn't start with electric guitar. I started playing classical guitar and this was my third classical guitar, the first full scale guitar and I play it every now once in a while but these days I don't use it this much. It was actually down in the basement and I had to <laughs> uh, pick it up to show it to you guys. So no classical guitar right now. I, uh, it doesn't have a pickup so I had to, uh, if I would use it, I had to put a mic in front of it and I'm kinda lazy I think. This is my Furch Durango D40 and um, this one has actually a pickup installed. It's a KKK pickup. It's a conductor pickup. It's basically glued under the bridge. Uh, I really, really like it because it sounds almost like a microphone and you get all those percussive, uh, percussive elements. Uh, recorded as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, this is actually in standard tuning. Okay, uh, so I think I used it to practice a specific song, uh, but I also use this one for recording acoustic guitar whenever there is an acoustic guitar I want to record. And I have another Furch. It's basically the same model. I think their serial numbers are only two or five apart from each other. Uh, this one doesn't have a pickup. Uh, I prefer the neck on this one. This is a rounder neck, whereas the other neck has more like a V-shape. I don't like V-shapes. And this is in some weird tuning. I uh, practice some fingerstyle percussive um, songs with this one. So this is only for practicing, uh, which you can tell because the strings are basically done. I should replace them and yeah. So those were all my guitars that I'm currently having, uh, which is September 2022. And now let me know down in the comments, what are your guitars? How many do you have and do you have a favorite one? 
just write a comment. And if you want to support my channel, check out the links in the description. And with this said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the force be with you and have a nice day.